Hello, I'm Valentin Mandace from Historic Houses of Romania, and I would like to present to you a peculiarity of the architecture of the La Belle Epoque, Bucharest, the Stir Spur. That is uh, the period of uh, the last quarter of the 19th century up until the Great War, a time when the Bucharest uh, streets weren't really paved, most of them were unpaved, and uh, you can imagine the dust and mud in the rainy season. And the people had to look smart, especially the ladies of that time, and they used these devices to descend straight from a horse-drawn carriage into the house and protect their elaborate uh, uh, skirt from dirt and mud. This particular one, still surviving, and I suppose in its original state from the 1880s, is uh, from a Sturza House on Magiron Boulevard, housing today uh, the bookshop Kurturest. To give you an idea about the mud problem, nightmare, which uh, was uh, in the Labelle book Bucharest, I have here an engraving, which is from 1860s, 1870s, produced by Germans and published in an American magazine. Uh, it's a goods wagon pulled by three pairs of horses through mud into the Wallachian plains, where Bucharest is located. Uh, the situation was very much the same on the main roads in towns, even in the capital city. So, you can imagine what a nightmare the mud could be and a problem uh, for, for everyone, including for rich, rich people in that time. Clothing, especially for ladies, was very impractical in the La Belle Epoque. I have here a page from a fashion magazine. Uh, from the United States, but these ladies could well be from Romania of that time or the rest of Europe, rich uh, in the richer strata of the population. And you can Im imagine what a nightmare it could be for them to walk through a dusty or muddy street with this uh, lattice work or petticoats would have been a disaster for these very expensive skirts. So they had to find devices and ways to protect their attire and look smart at all time. One of the devices, as I said, is the stair spur. So the lady or ladies who were traveling in a horse-drawn carriage came to visit each other by uh, that carriage and uh, it stopped right in front of this uh, spur with the uh, uh, carriage door. A lady was stepping down on it, helped of course by a butler and then entered easily the house. This particular one, I found it at uh, a man house. Uh, now it's a museum in Bucharest, and it's a reconstruction, it's made from new stone. I found another one at the architect Jon Minkus house. Uh, he's the initiator of the new Romanian style in architecture, and uh, the, his house dates from the 1870s, so it tallies with the age of the other other two which uh, I found, uh, who, which date from uh, the 1870s and 1880s, uh, when uh, probably, most probably, Bucharest was plagued by dust and uh, mud. Uh, towards the end of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century, uh, the large and important uh, streets of Bucharest got paved, so quite probably these devices weren't necessary. That's why they are quite rare nowadays. I was able to find just three so far, and I suppose they are not more than a, a handful, let's put it that way, in the entire town. But nevertheless, an interesting survivor, an indicator of the way of life, environment of uh, Romania and Bucharest of the La Belle Epoque period. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, then why not find out more about the historic houses of Romania Casa de Epoca by following my blog, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram and Twitter accounts. Or contact me directly if you want to join my tours and courses which I conduct on that subject, or you have a historic houses project in Bucharest or Romania and seek advice about it. At the email v.mandachi, m-a-n-d-a-c-h-e, at gmail.com or telephone 0040 728 Thank you and goodbye.